The Ascended Lightbody Dear Ones, I am pleased to join you once again in this way of speaking. I bring you a message of hope and love. I understand that many of you have been experiencing a great deal of uncertainty recently, and so I am here to help dispel the negative feelings which have been pervading our atmosphere these days. The time has come to talk about the ascension process again. Recently so many of you have asked me to write about it because you need some guidance and advice in this process. I was checking my last message and realized it's not enough. Some of you have questions about different aspects of the ascension process and for me it is very important to help you with that because we are here to support each other with these changes, this transition, these vibrations, and finally leave the old matrix behind. In the beginning days of our ascension, we will ascend quickly and it will seem to us that we have arrived in heaven. We will feel weightless and as if we are floating. We will be able to pass through solid objects and walls in the early stages of ascension. During this period our physical appearance will change slightly. We shall appear more youthful than what we were on the earth plane. This is because, during those first few days in spirit, our bodies will be still adjusting to our new environment. During this time period, it is possible for us to see people from our past lives in spirit who are present during our transition from the physical world. After a while, we will begin to feel more comfortable with our surroundings and then that is when we can expect to see ourselves as we will appear in heaven. What exactly will we look like when we ascend? Will you still have grey hair or will it be replaced with black? Will you still have wrinkles or will they disappear? What about your current physical ailments? Will they go away or will they stay? The truth is that everyone's ascension will be different. There are so many factors that can influence your ascension and what it looks like. For example, if you're a smoker, drinker, have an addiction to certain foods, or have abused prescription medications, your ascension is going to look much different than someone who has taken care of themselves physically. You will not ascend into the body that you currently possess. Instead you may find yourself in the body of a younger adult, in their prime. If this is the case, your appearance will slowly change as you continue on your path of healing and recovery. The longer that you remain sober and take care of your physical body, the more likely it is that you'll see your original appearance return. The appearance of the body will be determined by the vibrational patterns of our light body. These patterns may include everything from a soft glow to an iridescent rainbow. It all depends on our perception as well as what we are capable of holding in our consciousness. In other words, if we have a strong negative or positive perception of ourselves, that is what will be reflected. This is another reason to clean up our thoughts in order to hold pure light and love within our bodies. Ascension will not necessarily affect the color of your eyes or hair, although it is possible for these attributes to change. If this does occur, it will be due to a change in consciousness and not an alteration in physical form. As examples, some people after their ascension have had their hair fall out due to a shift in emotional energy, others have had their teeth straightened because they now think and feel more clearly than before. Again, it all depends upon how you perceive yourself and what you feel about these attributes that are already there. With regard to the, aging process, you will continue to grow and expand until you reach your highest potential that is yet contained within the human form. Once you have reached this point, you will cease any further growth. The original human body is a perfect creation. It was not a product of evolution, but of intelligent design. It will be our choice whether to upgrade to the new body that awaits us on the new earth after we ascend. It will be a fully functioning, complex and beautiful physical creation far greater than anything we can currently imagine. We will be like gods in our bodies of light. We will have perfect health, strength and endurance. These bodies are physical, not ethereal or ghostly as some have imagined them. They are tangible and solid, although you cannot see them with your eyes as you do the body you now inhabit. These bodies will never age or die. They are indestructible and perfect in every way, even more so than the human form you now inhabit. The new bodies will be designed to function optimally within the fifth dimensional environment of the new earth. The physical world has been transitioning from third to fifth dimensional frequencies of energy for some time now and this process is increasing in speed as we draw closer to the end times. Because of the higher vibration in which we will live on the new earth, our bodies must also raise their vibrations if they are to survive there without disintegrating. When we are in our ascended bodies, we will not have to worry about growing old. We will continue to look young and vibrant. You've seen Jesus portrayed in art with long hair and a beard right? That's because the ascended masters get to choose what age they want their bodies to be. They can look like a child or an old man, depending upon what will best help them teach you. They will be with us as well as they too will be in their ascended bodies. I see that so many of you are concerned about your children and how you will care for them once you ascend. 
This is a non-issue, your children will ascend with you. One of the things that the light has done with you is to accelerate your children's growth so that they can come into their bodies of light at the same time as you. This means they too will look at least 20 years of age when they ascend, but most likely much younger. Most of you who have physical challenges now such as missing limbs or other physical conditions, these illnesses and conditions will disappear when you ascend into your light body. You may have heard this information before, but it is important for all to hear again for confirmation purposes. It is no longer necessary for any of you to endure these conditions as they are only temporary and are an illusionary world. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light.